What I hear quite often is that Finland is a pretty expensive place to live. The tax rates are high, the price levels are high, so is it actually possible to make a living here and even save some money on the go? But I'm here to help you guys out with that problem because today I'm going to break down my monthly living cost here in Helsinki so you can get an idea how expensive or non-expensive it is here to live in Helsinki. Let's go check it out. What up Fantastics? Welcome to another video. In case you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Alex and I make fantastic videos about Finnish culture, lifestyle and language. So if you're into those kind of things, hit the subscribe button right now. And before we jump into the cost themselves, I'll give you a quick lowdown of my current situation. So I'm living by myself in Helsinki. I don't have any pets. And in this video, I've also excluded things called random cost. Let's say if you just quickly need to buy a new bed or new curtains and these kind of things. And also I'm excluding the start cost. And with, that, with this I mean that uh, when you move in you need to buy the beds, the furniture, the kitchenware. These are also excluded. So all the costs are kind of this regular cost once you manage to settle down here in Helsinki or in Finland in general. And let's start with the living cost. And my fixed living costs are per month 823 euros. And this includes rent, which is the 800 per euros, laundry, which is 5 euros a month. This means that I can use the common laundry machines at the basement of the place where I live. And then 18 euros for water. And this means that the water fee is always fixed. It doesn't matter how much or how less I use, but that's the, uh, that's the water fee. And then of course electricity. For electricity, I pay around 46 euros per three months. So that's around I think 14, 15 euros a month. So that's not that bad, I think. And what is important to know that I live in Kallio area, which is pretty close to the main Helsinki central area. There's also a lot of cool hipster trendy bars here. And the price level for rents usually increase the closer to the center you live. My apartment size is 23 square meters, which is kind of small, but it's actually quite well built because there's also a wardrobe in my room. So it kind of it makes it, it looks a bit more spacious in that sense. And just to give you a few examples, if you live in Etelahaga, you can get a similar size like 25, 26 square meters for 670 euros per month. That's the rent only. So that's like more than 100 euros cheaper. And that's pretty close to the train rail anyway. So you can actually get to Helsinki pretty quickly if you live there. A kind of expensive in terms of the living. But if, you, if it's possible for you to live a little bit farther away from the center and get the place close to the railway lines, that's going to be a really good place to cut down costs if you need to do that. Okay, next we have the food and groceries. And in October I had 144 euros a month. And in November I had, last November I had 118 euros per month. And this includes like food items, you know, groceries, household stuff like toilet papers, toothbrushes, toothpaste and so on. And how I usually save money on this is by going to Lidl. Lidl is one of these big uh, supermarket chains here in Finland, but it's definitely the cheapest. It has, it has the best price quality ratio, I think it's called. And that's what you should also do because you can do your weekly weekly groceries shoppings in Lidl with really good price. I make quite simple meals at home. It can include like chicken, su chicken, some rice, salad, milk and so on. This is way how I can actually save money on this. And for example, both things like toilet papers, because you can buy this like really huge pack, like 16 rolls and it lasts for like six months. So I don't actually have to spend money on that quite often because they last so much. Next we have the restaurants and coffee places. And in October I had 321 euros a month. That's actually quite much. And in November I had 250 euros per month. So you probably know if you've been watching this channel that eating out in Finland is in, in general is actually quite expensive. But what I personally do and what other what you also should consider should consider doing is to go to these lunch buffets. So all the restaurants, all the big restaurant chains and restaurants in general offer at lunchtime a lunch buffet, which costs around 1050 uh, around here in Helsinki. And you can eat as much as you want and they have actually really proper meals. Because I'm a big guy, I need to eat a lot. So I especially, especially like this because I can get a proper meal and eat, as, eat that much that I can become full, you know. So every time I'm at work, it's like during the week, Monday to Friday, I usually go get one lunch buffet and that's usually 1050. But Outside of that, I don't really go like for dinner 
to restaurants because that's gonna be expensive unless we have like some special special case we want to celebrate with our friends that's a different case but usually I never go to eat out just because it's expensive and why I had so much bigger <laughs> costs in October is because I use Volt. Volt is basically just like a food delivery service so you can just order food from an app it's called Volt. I used a bit too much Volt in October and that's why it increased my costs but usually I don't do it but back then I was a little bit lazy so. And next we have the health and beauty costs and the only one I had for this one uh, that I could come up with was my haircut and I get a haircut maybe once per three months so not that often like four times a year and it costs one time costs for around 20 euros like a basic haircut okay if you're a lady this might be higher for you depending like how much you want to manage your hair and what kind of stuff you want to do for it but for guys this is quite straightforward and for me I always want to keep things very straightforward so that's quite easy easy for me and then we have hobbies and at the moment my hobby is I have the gym membership which costs which costs 20 euros a month that's actually very cheap it's fitness 24 7 if you in case you're interested then I have audible audiobooks it's basically it's the audiobook service by Amazon and by paying 9.5 euros a month around I get one audiobook for free which I can choose then I usually go to swimming hall but that depends like that's that's not like a it's it's a bit random I might go to one to four times a month and that costs 5.5 euros a time so it can be something between 5 to 20 euros a month and that's about it so I don't really have any other hobbies that cost money at the moment then we have culture and fun costs this means for example going out to drinks or the bars and clubs and the thing is that I have very moderate habits to spend uh, or to drink alcohol so I know people who when they go out to clubbing and having fun they can easily spend like two three hundred euros a month which is completely outrageous if you ask me but what I do is I might get like a six pack of long drink for 10 euros in a grocery store and then when we get to the club I just drink water of course I have to pay the entry fees and maybe the jacket fees but that's about it so like I don't spend that much money on alcohol and stuff but every once in a while if there's some events or maybe museums or something this can also be on this but this is very ac quite accurate maybe 20 30 euros a month for me uh, then we have the phone and internet costs my phone and internet plans cost both 990 and my internet is for example 100 megabytes it's very fast and it costs only 10 euros a month that's very cheap that's one of the things that is very cheap in Finland in general another is the phone plan I have unlimited data unlimited minutes and unlimited texts 990 as well especially the phone plan is actually surprisingly cheap if you get this kind of plan it can be close to 20 or 30 euros a month I believe but I had uh, I managed to find a special deal campaign deal for this one so that's why it's very cheap and another thing to point out is that because I can write these off as a business cost for my YouTube YouTube business so this is actually not something that is appearing on my personal finance but I believe this is very important everyday cost for you so that's why I wanted to include it in the video as well then you have the shopping costs this means like shopping new clothes shoes shirts whatever and the thing is that I rarely shop I may I shop probably four to five times a year and that is usually when they have the discounts running so in October I had 26 euros that's pretty much nothing and in November I had 104 euros so that that's quite a bit of increase but the thing is that I bought some new Picuyolo uh, Picuyolo stuff I bought like a new collared shirt and like this uh, because on Rosetti I'll put the translation here and some uh, suspenders for the Picuyolo party so that was a little bit more expensive but you know this is kind of like random for me like if I have an increased random shopping cost then it's because I just want to get something and for example in January or that was actually in December after Christmas they always run the, the discounts and I got proper new shoes and their retail price was 240 euros which is really expensive but I got them with 50% discount so I only paid only paid 120 euros so I think that was a pretty good deal and with those shoes I can pr properly go through many winters in the future so that's why I invested in those then you have the traffic costs like public transportation the thing is that I don't really use public transportation that much 
outside of work. So because I'm, the, I'm a sales manager, I usually travel to customers in, in Helsinki area. Then we just use public transportation. And if I buy a ticket, I can always re, uh, get it reimbursed from my employer. So for me, it's pretty much close to zero. Uh, tra traffic costs, but if you for if you're coming to Helsinki, the monthly ticket costs I think it's around 60 euros, and then you can just travel as much as you want here in Helsinki. So that's something that you can keep in mind. Then savings and investment, like this is something that you should also consider doing if you come to Helsinki to start saving and invest some money that you save from your from your work. And at the moment, I put aside uh, around 700 euros per month to different index funds or like apartment saving account and this depends there's like a lot of these different things you can invest like stocks and bonds and funds and so on but I'm, I'm not gonna go through into that but I strongly recommend if you move here in Finland permanently that you start to also save and invest some money on the go because that's how you can build your wealth in, uh, over the time and that's how people actually get rich by saving some money that they don't really uh, have to spend. And then we have some random costs here. For example, I included a Father's Day dinner. So I offered a dinner for her. We went to a restaurant and I offered the whole, or I paid the whole dinner for my family, or like parents and my brother. And that was 170 euros. But this is like a random cost, like because it was just like a special, special one-time cost that doesn't really occur regularly and another thing is was my personal trainer cost which was which was 330 euros for five times so that's another random cost but so these are some examples that can occur depending what you do in your life so what about my income then uh, the only thing what i've been talking about in this video so far is my uh, my costs but what about my income well the thing is that i'm a sales manager and my salary strongly depends on on my performance. So if I manage to sell crap loads of deals or close deals, it also increases my monthly salary. But my monthly, the net salary, which means after taxes, ranges between 1,500 to 3,500 euros. That's kind of, it can be also more, but that's kind of like the typical. So yeah, so it's my salary is not fixed, but most likely your salary will be fixed because you, in, in other, let's say, regular jobs, it's just a fixed price. You don't have any performance, performance factor there. But I have a strong performance factor and that's why my range is kind of big. Another thing is the money I get from the YouTube stuff. But I don't withdraw the money I got get from the running the YouTube business, but I just invest it back to the business, like buying better equi equipment and stuff. So that's not really a, a affecting my personal business whatsoever, or business personal finance whatsoever. And if you're wondering, like, if Finland is the place for you to move in, check out this video we did last week, and make sure to subscribe for more videos in the future. I'll see you next time. Somara.